Welcome back to it. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso right here on S3. It is a Feel Good Friday and I'm so excited. Our next guest is a multi-award winning South African actress, musician, motivational speaker and social media influencer. Originally from Ishowe KwaZulu-Natal, she is best known for her role on South Africa's most watched television soapy, Uzalo, on SABC One. Give it up for Dawn Tandeka King, who's here to catch us up on all that she's been up to. Come on. <laughs> she is here. It is, it is so good, Dawn. Welcome to your Feel Good Breakfast show. Thank you so much. Thank you oh, for having me. We were just talking off air. You are just so busy. That I don't Do you even have know any my own space? name. space? <laughs> really? That bad, eh? Do you have any space in your diary? I don't, I don't, how are you here? I don't know how I'm here. <laughs> I, 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 actually, he just told me yesterday that I must be on a flight to here. And I'm like, I thought I was shooting. And it, it's a lot. <laughs> I, I actually need a PA that lives with me. <laughs> But listen, you, you do it so well. You manage to organize your life and you are doing incredible things. You are part of so many different projects. But I want to chat about Uzalo, um, your character, Lindy Wikulu, also known as Mankoba on Uzalo. What is it about this character and this particular role that just made people fall in love with you? I think it was the gangster vibe that yeah? she brought into it. I mean, she, she looked um, like a slay queen. You know what they look like? <laughs> um, she looked like um, she couldn't scrub the pots, but at the same time, she could handle a gun so well. It means business. And she would take a life like this. I think it was the guts. Yeah. It, was, it was just, it empowered women, I think, and it, it just mesmerized the guys. Yeah, it was like a proper superhero almost. And I love the <laughs> fact, you know, that you embody that powerful woman role as well, because yeah. that is what, what we need as well. And, and mm. you're such a great example of that. Um, but now, very exciting, you're part of a brand new series that yeah. is actually premiering this month, Shaka Ilembe. Oh my God. Um, we can expect it soon. You mentioned yes. next week, it's actually yes. premiering. It's premiering on Tuesday the 13th, and um, we're gonna have it on screen on the 18th. Yes. So the premiere is when we go and we do all the media stuff and we get Take to watch yes, and, and all of that. And then the public gets to see it on the 18th um, of June. So, so what's got you excited about this? I think and it's, your character. It's, it's historical, first of all. And for me, to be part of it, it's, um, it actually something, it's actually something I manifested. I said if I get to play the character of Umkabai for me yeah. in my career, that will be the highlight of my career. And I got to play this particular role that I was talking about. I play Umkabai, who is basically behind the creation of the Zulu Kingdom. She's sister to Shaga's father, Senzanga Kona. And so the character that I play firstly narrates the story we see it from her perspective and she was very um, instrumental in creating what we know now as the zulu nation so for me it's part of history because this is something that we we know happened we are reenacting people's lives yeah, people that lived yeah. so for me it's very powerful no it's going to hit home that's for sure no we're yeah. looking forward to that make sure you catch it shaka ilembe premiering next week tuesday ne uh, next week tuesday next that's week uh, tuesday that's week, next the, week the premiering and then sunday is on screen oh it's going to be exciting yeah. listen i wasn't joking earlier when i said listen how are you here because you are <laughs> so busy chat to me about your business quickly a very very successful businesswoman as well yeah um izandla by yes. dawn tandeka I think well, how that started is me remembering that I can use my hands. And I think that's what COVID taught us. Um, you've got to have different streams of income and then you've got to remember what you can do. So I started crocheting. So now I crochet beanies and and neck cowls. It's almost like a scarf, but you can also put it over neck your head. Neck cowl. Yeah, neck cowl. Neck so as opposed to a scarf that would go <laughs> like this, a neck cowl. It has an extra it. dimension. Yes. <laughs> so I make that and, and, and I've started uh, I, is, I sell that on set That's cool. and um, I'm going to open it up to the public um, in partnership with my sister's company, Noor Sherry. She sells scents, beautiful perfumes. So oh, in combination, fit, yeah. you know, we're selling it together so that, you know, if I don't get the opportunity or the time to get the orders coming in, then she does that part and then I just, you know, oh. I create. And then I have to then hire women that are able to use their hands 
hence yeah. Izandla. So Izandla ah. by Don Tandega King. It's handmade by Don Tandega King. I love that. I love that yeah. you are diversifying yourself and you're putting yeah. yourself in these kind of different spaces within yeah. the industry using that platform as well. I just quickly want to ask about something that's very close to your heart, your motivational speaking. You're tra traveling all across Africa. Yeah. Um, you're inspiring uh, women, mothers. You speak about motherhood, especially being a, a, a black mother parent yeah. as well. To kids. Why is this something that is very close to your heart and why is it so needed? Uh, I think not only in South Africa, but across our continent. Yeah, I think what, what, what touched me was the fact that parents right now are struggling to raise their two Ks. Um, these are the children born in, in yeah. this time and age. Yeah. They're struggling because we come from different backgrounds, different generations, mm. and we're struggling to connect. And so we have to talk about it. We have to open conversations about it and advise each other on how we each do it. And so that's how I get to travel around and I'm part of panels that speak openly about how I parent, why I parent the way that I do. Because how I parent is affected by how I was parented. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a lot of, of, of these conversations that we need to have in order for us uh, to get it right. To help bridge that generational yeah. gap for sure. Tandeka, thank you very much, Dawn. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Can I just, just <laughs> yes, there it is, the energy. Dawn, thank you very much for thank joining you. us. And thank you very much for all the work that you are doing and being such a beacon of light thank and inspiration. You. Really appreciate it. Thank I hope you. you had a coffee already. I did. Ah, <laughs> fantastic. Make sure you catch that brand new series. It is fantastic. Um, it's going to be appearing or, or being on your screens next week, Sunday, Shaka Ilembe, and of course, the star of the show. She's Thanks. here. She's here. Stick around on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Lots more to come.